Mike Knox, that's with three X's cause he's hardcore, are y'all ready, we about to give y'all something special, you ready, ready, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, just the world. All right, do me a favor. I never start off like this, like ever. It's not even my thing to start off like this. But today, I feel like I have to and I want to start off like this because not only are we celebrating Black History Month, we are celebrating a civil war within a community that's a community where one guy is consumed to be Black because he's so down to earth that even the white people say he's he's a brother right so today's episode because i had it in my mind someone else came up with it came up and said you know the the, the people's champ screwed the people then it made me think well did the people champ screw the people because i think personally the people screwed the people and we gonna talk about it today because frankly i got a seriously big ego problem today y'all because I got an awful lot to speak about, okay? Welcome to Unpopular Reviews Wrestling, the Mike Knox Show on all your social media platforms. For once, I have in 15 years and 3,000 episodes. I know, I get told, I say that all the time. Guess what? When you can have my resume, you can say it, all right? So I'm going to say it, okay? I have never asked to go viral. Today, I don't care if your mama's cousin's auntie Patsy's, Calvin's, Johnny's, John John's, Nook Nook's, Ray Ray's. I don't care who you friends with. Mary's, Patrick's, Thomas's, Franklin's. Share this with them. Like, follow, and subscribe to all the things that it's on Pop Review Wrestling and the Mike Knox Show because I'm coming at YouTubers today. I'm coming at wrestling fans today and I, I admit i will admit right vaughn you've been here my whole entire stick as they say right my whole entire stick has been and i've said this time and time again my problem is not with the industry necessarily that's just they're a problem we're going to talk about how the wwe did fuck up some shit okay but my biggest problem has always been the community it always has been the community. And that's what upsets me. That's what hurts my feelings. That's what makes me feel bad inside. I just, I just feel bad inside, Vaughn. And I want people to understand today where I'm coming from. I have no quarrels, problems in the world. The question is... Are you hashtag we want Rocky? Are you hashtag we want Cody, right? Because the IWC, which, damn it, I'm online right now, right? Even the people that say, I'm not part of the IWC. Yeah, you are. You, you are. You're just not who they are. I'm not who they are. So here we go. This is the show for the intelligent wrestling fan. And I encourage you to make sure that everybody today becomes intelligent. Shout out to my man backstage holding me down. 301 King Vaughn Jr. The Victorious Ones podcast. The who reason this is the show. The pros, Ayatollahs and Rock and Rollers and John Horatio Rodriguez, Tom Brady, seen us. Listen to. He'll be along later, guys, to give you the week in wrestling. Okay. Please. This is the barbershop, right? Have you ever got your hair cut in the hood? Right? Here, Vaughn, this is how deep I'm going back, Vaughn. I'm bringing back old shit, right? Like, I let Dice take the whole, you know, AKA, you know who it was, right? It was hashtag blaming on Bob Johnson. It was hashtag blame your mama. It was hashtag ask your man why you, ask your man why he can't do it like that. It was hashtag me. I started this motherfucking rap shit. And it's the motherfucking fakes I did. Let's go today, y'all. Y'all gonna sit here trying to tell me right now did you can't be excited for WrestleMania? I get it, people. I get it. Oh, my God. I get it. I have lost people. I've lost my mother, my father, my son in the same 90 days. I know what pain feels like. You hear what I'm saying, people? I know what pain feels like. So you can't sit here and tell me, right? This is the problem with people, Vaughn, and this weekend wrestling we're going to talk about. This is the problem with people. People's problems are they put too much of their own damn emotions 
inside somebody else and then try to start feeling like that person's supposed to feel. We don't know how that person's supposed to feel. And bigger than all of this, bigger than my mouth keep going right now, bigger than all of it right now, Vaughn. Audience, comment below, let me know. This is all about, you ready? Hashtag wrestling is storyline. Listen, let's, here's the problem with the IWC and why we're talking to you today, not the wrestling fans. IWC, I'm talking to you today, not the rest of the wrestling fans. Just you, and I recognize that I'm a part of you, but not in this sense. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, Vaughn. I, I, from, shout out to the Z is silent again on Unpopular Reviews, the SmackDown, so you can catch him every Saturday or every other Saturday that it is, because, you know, he takes times off. He, he's a family man, okay? So he got to put in what he can put in. So check out the SmackDown Review Show every, two, every Saturday at 12 o'clock. But this man said, and I quote, right, because I don't like that. You know, I said this a couple weeks ago, right? I don't want to say what well, I said, you said, I said, you said, right? Because we all say some shit, right? But he did say, <laughs> man, every single day there's going to be some information to come out about WWE. So the problem I have with fans today, right? Because that's my, that's my flag. If I had a flag sitting around, I'd be like, fans, shut the fuck up. Right? Here it is, fans. Let's stop using or start understanding real life. Right? Reality, perception. I've been teaching that for 15 years also. Shout out to Dan Patrick, one of the four and four fathers of this podcast radio shit. Okay, reality and perception. Just because you know the reality don't mean, or just because you know the reality, right? I said it right, don't mean you should have to understand and follow the perception. What I'm saying and saying that is, is this. You are smart enough. You are intelligent enough. You have enough information. My teacher, Mrs. Johnson, told me I had to learn algebra because in my life, I would need it. As Kanye West, according to the gospel, say, why don't you kill me now? Because I'm going to fucking follow my dreams, my heart, and at the top of the charts, okay? I don't need algebra. What you mean I can't have a calculator in my pocket? I got a whole damn computer in my pocket. So there's no excuse, fans, to understand why you can't understand what the fuck is going on around here in the world of professional wrestling. And that's where I, I curve it. Let me check out the chat. Avoid the clap, Jimmy Dugan. What's going on, Charmaine? Back at you, girl. Back at you, girl. My man, Phil Bailey, the Fire and Ice podcast. I said, fuck the Grammys, because today I'm dedicating this shit to Beyonce. Okay? I'm dedicating the day to Beyonce. I am a Tay Tay fan. I'm a black man from the south side of Chicago, raised in Philadelphia with four black children and a black wife, and I love me some Tay Tay. But Jay Z ain't say shit that Kanye West ain't say when y'all got mad at him. So today, just like The Rock getting all this fucking flap, I'm sticking up for it. So hashtag, there it is, comment below. Let me know, hashtag Cody or hashtag The Rock. I'm going to tell you who I'm going with in a second here, people. And that's the people. But the people screwed the people. Okay? So, I mean, again, question is, Cody isn't facing Roman Reigns. Does that mean he is going to face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania? So... As of now, Charmaine, I would say that's the intelligent wrestling answer to say, yes, he's facing Seth. But we don't know because we got today on Raw, even though he's in a damn bull rope match. <laughs> Why is he, he in a bull rope match against Sinsuke Nakamura, right? But I'm going to talk about that in a second, Charmaine. I'm going to get through these questions some more. There it is. Vaughn hashtag wrestling his storyline. My man from the Fire Nights podcast. What's going on? I'm sorry. That, that top five. I don't know. Y'all didn't read my comment last night, man. But that conversation was good. I like how y'all did some things there. Make sure you guys go check them out. Here it is right there. Grand body. Poo! In the UK. That real hip-hop shit. You can you give me Fire Nights podcast. I think my head go ahead and uh, do some things right there. We, uh, we want Rocky. My man, Michael Smith, hashtag, I just want to be entertained. If I didn't have on my pajamas right now, Michael Smith, I would stand up and give me those standing ovation right there because that's to me the true answer right there. Okay? I just want to be entertained. What up, Jeffrey? I know you like following, subscribing, and sharing. Make sure we use the hashtag, we want Cody. Make sure we use the hashtag, we want Rock, Rocky. And make sure we use the hashtag, WrestleMania. And fuck it, it's Monday, right? Hashtag raw with it, Vaughn. You hear that? That's four hashtags on every fucking tweet today we're going to use. Okay? My man Todd said, oh, this is going to be good. Man, you ain't heard nothing yet, my brother. Here it is. Let's get through it real fast. 
All right, I've been talking for 12 minutes. Shit, here it is. <laughs> the Raw recap, right? This is where the week started, right? You, we had nothing in the week, right? We we got Russell. We got Royal Rumble. I was there, 29,000 feet away from the ring. Shout out to the, the executive consultant for refusing to move up with me closer to the ring. And the crew I was with, you bastards. I love y'all, but fuck you. All right? I was completely unhappy. We should have moved up. We could have had seats. Moving on. So, bam. Sam Punk. Oh, my God. Have you ever played dominoes? Anybody play that? Not like real dominoes, like dominoes, motherfucker. Not, not that kind, right? Because I know you, I know y'all ain't play that, right? Sometimes the dominoes y'all do play, where you set them up all in a line, you let them fall, right? It's a domino effect, right? I see that. I seen a um a post today that said the pipe bomb was right. <laughs> really? Y'all are too damn emotional. I, I said this day on the debate show. I'm gonna say to get today on the Mike Knox show. Y'all need to get laid. Okay. <laughs> Flat out. Period. In the discussion. There it is. Okay. But Nia Jax used a vicious attack on Rhea Ripley to show that the Royal Rumble match winner Bailey, that nobody's coming after her. I want Rhea thickly. Shout out to the good consultant again. Damn, that's two shout outs today. I don't give you no more than that because at this point, I'm going to have a point system like the Jack Pack and, and, and George out there. But damn, this is a good match. This is where I think WrestleMania is going. Right? But damn, there it is. CM Punk's out of WrestleMania. You son of a bitch. Look, I got my band on. Solidarity for CM Punk, y'all. Solidarity. Look in my eyes. I don't see shit because you ain't fucking there. You are always hurt, my guy. Like, you went to UFC. Like, you tell me, it was a good promo, right? Like, it was a good promo, right? He said, have you ever seen me in UFC? You know what's funny about that, CM Punk? We all kept saying the same shit, okay? So you had to say it, right? You're, we know you got your ass whooped, okay? You're not, ooh, can I, can I say his name? And has he been stricken from the records like who should not be named that I still think it's the Mike Knox show and that's Mr. Chris Benoit? He may be a murderer, but we know who the fuck he is. We can't say the name. He ain't Lord, he ain't Lord Voldemort. Or Vort, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? I'm a Gryffindor. Right? I ain't scared of nobody. I ain't Malfoy. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no Ravenclaw shit going on. This is Gryffindor. I got the ball to say it. Chris Benoit did some crazy shit, right? It, it's so Brock Lesnar allegedly did some crazy shit. And I keep saying the word shit, which means that's in the, the federal investigation. I ain't supposed to talk about that, y'all. So I'm gonna be quiet right now. But CM Punk is out of WrestleMania. Okay? Boom, I'm hurt. I'm supposed to lose the Dusty's kid for the last word that he said in the Royal Rumble. Then he shows up Monday because, damn it, he's hurt. Okay? And then Drew McIntyre goes and puts a hell of a whooping on his ass. Right? And then we get the promo that started this whole damn thing off. Right? We get, we get Seth freaking Rollins. Right? Now, it, here's the thing about wrestling fans. And, and in, in the world we live in. Right? In all fairness. Right? Because you're going to say, well, my God. Oh, I mean, it's out there. I'm not looking for it. It's already on the internet. I, 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 I do is log into it, and it, it tells me right there um, what I can go look at and, and what happened. So I, I know that he's hurt. And, and, and I start doing deep research. And you, you always tell me, Mike Knox, you know, follow the breadcrumbs. And then the breadcrumbs will lead you down the, you know, the, the other big road. And I can find my way to the islands and know what really happened to him. But he can still wrestle. So he's here. He's here right now. Seth freaking Rollins is here. And as long as Seth Rollins is here, he's going to talk this shit. And Seth Rollins came out and said, why go for the Hollywood title? That's not the title your daddy went for. Your daddy was a world heavyweight champion like Ric Flair. Like Bret the Hitman Hart. The best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. It's right there in my arms. And I know you have a legacy to follow. And that legacy should be to the World Heavyweight Championship. Cody thinks about it. At this point, people, again, shout out to the Z is silent. That's two points for you today as well, along with the executive consultants. I'm not mentioning your name anymore. You're stricken for the rest of the show. Okay. <laughs> so he, he comes out and he goes, damn. What do you want to talk about? That's some good stuff. I got to think about this. I don't know. I just don't know. But it's as Ian Solomon always say is he, he always can tell when someone's going to win the title because their emotions in the beginning of the match and in their intro shows, right? So at this point, which no one paid attention to until Friday, his mannerisms, Cody's shoulders were down. He was disappointed and rightfully so. He had already heard the news. CM Punk was hurt and shit was happening and we had to change things, Vaughn. What a tangled web we weave. Excuse me, guy. I need a drink because you guys make me drink. Then we get to SmackDown, right? Because, you know, the weekend wrestling is always there. But not today. 
Vaughn, you might be here a little extra longer today. Cause I got a lot to say. Okay. So then SmackDown came and all oh, shit. Y'all punk asses want to call him Dwayne. Y'all are supposed to, you disrespectful maid. Yeah, all that I couldn't say. Okay, just know what it was. If you know who you know who are you talking to, and it's Mike Knox, and you're in a barbershop. Okay, just know what I just said right there. All of a sudden, Dwayne's out there, the rock that is, the most electrifying man in all the sports entertainment. That's it. I don't give a fuck about Rosa Park. Ain't nobody on this Black History Month celebrate. We celebrating all this today. Okay, Vaughn, all of it. <clears throat> no one cares about Bailey going after EO Sky, right? Like, how fast SmackDown was great, Raw was great, <laughs> right? NXT was great. We got to SmackDown, and people just, at the end of SmackDown, just took over the entire internet. It was like, oh, my God. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Here it is. Oh, my God. Beyonce was found cheating with Chris Brown. That's how the internet reacted to the situation right here, right? Eo Scott, I mean, Bailey, the whole um, Bautista kind of situation, you know, um, from the thumbs up, thumbs down. He heard him talking about she speaks Japanese. Thank you for fixing that, y'all. I, I caught this something different before. So shout out to my crew. Make sure I'm on, I'm on point with the languages that were being spoken there, right? She speaks Japanese, like, oh, my God, boom, 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 boom. No, no, no one cared anymore, right? Then we got Jay Cargill. Oh, my God, look at her. My baby girl automatically put her in her top three. She never watched um, uh, AEW. Shout out to Michaela Wonders. Follow her TikTok, y'all. She's a, she's a uh, Walking Dead fanatic, my baby girl. Okay, but she knows her wrestling shit because I built and I birthed intelligent wrestling fans. But bam, Jay Cardell shows up. It don't matter. Come talk to me on Raw. It don't matter. A lot of stuff happened last night. Tiffany Stratton showed up. Smacks an ish out of Meechin. DMV's on, right? Bianca Belair's there. Nobody cares because all of a sudden Cody gets in the ring. <laughs> Vaughn, Cody gets in the ring. <laughs> Roman first starts off talking, right? Right. Let's, let's just. I'm gonna follow the. I'm gonna try to we follow the bre the breadcrumbs, right? Roman gets in the ring. Roman says, <laughs> "Okay, Seth." <laughs> you talking about shit with your wife's clothes on <laughs> yeah i'm a part-time i make twice as much money as you so what look at me i ain't never hurt <laughs> look what's going on you had a broken back now you still can't walk the man and went back and rehearsed some old cm punk lines about the click click and how you walk or even about Seth Rollins. about is this your heavyweight champion if you want the real belt you come after the real guy. I don't care if it was Bruno San Martino, if it was HH. None of that stuff matters. It is the fucking title to have. But points were made, right, that Seth Rollins made, that I've said from the beginning. I hate being a guy that said, I said this and I said that. I've already said that before again, but I, I did. I did. I said from the beginning, that was a title that was Dusty Rhodes. I get that's not the title that's in this company that Dusty didn't get a chance to have. No one knew about the Dusty story. Until you know the massacre regarding one by this qualification, but we all know you don't win a title by this qualification. So why is those emotions still there? We know as wrestling fans that a disqualification is not giving you the title. We know that, right? So Dusty never got a chance to get that belt. My favorite wrestler in my top five of all time, always have, always will be the reason why I watch professional wrestling today. Dusty Rhodes. HH kept me, Dusty Rhodes got me in the business. So my love for his son. Is always there. And then you see the look on Cody's face there. And he's just not happy. He says, you know what? But here's what I like about the whole thing. Cody gave up his spot. But did he? He didn't give you what you want right away. It's, 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 guys, I say some of you need to go get laid, right? Women too. If you are with a lady and you too soon yeah right so let the story develop right he said i want to systematically destroy you i think it's a bigger story to be honest with you people i really do yeah i want cody but i'm gonna continue while i tell you while i want rocky and there it is we want rocky it's like knox does 
not a guy that I don't want Cody. Here's why. Cody says, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to dethrone you. I'm going to break you down. I got our own trouble. I want to, how do you get Roman Reigns out of wrestling, right? We've talked for a year. Y'all want to call him a part-timer? That's the most dumbest shit I've ever heard because he's on TV every week. I'll say it again, Vaughn. Roman Reigns is on TV every week, whether you see his face or not. Why? Hey, Siri, call Roman Reigns. Bloodline. Everything surrounds him. He told you when he looked into the camera. I put the food on the table. I take it off the table. Have a good night. He did that. He told you that. Rock shows up. Steps into Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes refuses. And all hell breaks loose. Everything looks like it's Rock and Roman at WrestleMania. And then the debate started, Vaughn. The debate started to happen. And oh shit, the internet should have, should have, what did it say? Should have, should have brick? Is that what it is? They, they, whatever it was. All of a sudden, it's either Cody Rhodes or The Rock. And people forget one thing. So go back to Unpop Review Entertainment. We had a debate, our new debate show. Shout out to, damn, that's three points to two. Dior's executive consultant, the Z is silent, came up with a new idea of the debate show sort of like pti meets um around the horn had our first debate we had team cody rhodes versus team the rock i know we whooped their asses but hey it's not about whose sides are on it's about who won the debate in that show but the debate around the internet went on vaughn then this bullshit yeah whatever his name is there it is i never say his name right i don't give a fuck i've known he's been around for a while and i do not care you have been a wrestling fan, Solomon Monster, for a long time. You are, a, you are me, in a sense, but the white version in New York. So that gives you another uh, upper edge, if you will, so to speak. Not ever have I come for you. You are who you are. Anybody's opinion is their opinion. But I've always admired you because I thought no matter what, you are still a smart wrestling fan. The Rock sabotages Cody Rose's dreams. That pissed me off. Then... Fans demand Cody Rhodes merchandise after The Rock WrestleMania plans. The video of The Rock and Roman Reigns on SmackDown is now the most dick -like, disliked YouTube video of all time. How many views did it get, people? And as we're in this Black History Month, Friday nights and Saturday morning, it was all rock. We Cody rock this, rock that, rock this, rock that. But now Cody is hanging 10. Oh, like the new kids on the block, y'all. I'm tripping because y'all got me bugging today. I'm going to take a break right here because, frankly, I need to drink of some more of this beautiful Foster's Australian for beer. And I'm going to come back and tell y'all again, hashtag we want rock. Hashtag we want Cody. And I got to say this, guys. I have so much more I want to talk about today. I want to introduce like a female wrestling TV show. The husband and wife review show, Millie Bay's Review, is here with the Kanan Review final episode coming up this week, as well as wrestling always on tag. Make sure you check out the Raw Review Show immediately following Raw. Whatever all this bullshit happened on, on Friday, hopefully today Monday ain't too much bullshit and we get something really good of Jeff and I'm falling in today. Right, doing double duty, kind of tired, but I'm here. All right, I need it, so I'm always here for the business. Um, going tonight for Monday Night Raw after Raw goes off. Let's get some of you guys' comments before uh, I get into some more of the show. Wrestling is storyline. Question Charmaine, I already answered that one as well. Where am I at here? What's going on, Dice Man? Um, what's going on, uh, Michael Smith? Michael Smith, always checking in. The, uh, the internet wrestling community are a bunch of... <laughs> Whoa, children who can't never be satisfied anything involving wrestling. Screw those wannabe fans. I, I, mm, there it is. Uh, what's going on, Todd? Grand Body P checking in, Vaughn Jr. Even Ice Cube's son supports. We want Rocky. Okay. Um, hell, I type it. Drew is the world heavyweight champion. Now, I was going to talk about that earlier. I do think that's what he messed up at. Drew McIntyre should be. The guy that goes after that title, in my opinion. Sam Benoit is not Hogan. Is what? What? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not going to say that name. I, I can I can be Ron Burgundy sometimes. I'm not going to say his name, people. Okay. Um, 
Jay-Z said it's best. First they love you, then they hate you. Then they love you again. Well, we're talking about The Rock here because I'm going to go in like a pair. Of, yeah, great debates was yesterday. Um, poor Dan, he carried the show on his back. I don't know if he carried the show. He carried Cody Rhodes out on his back. He couldn't carry the show because yours truly was a part of the show. And unfortunately, I had to father MC his ass, okay? If you don't know who father MC is, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Go break it out. Before Mary J. Blige was his original singer. Okay, yeah. His partner was ass trash and then some. Shay! Checking in. What's going on, Captain? They want to refund Cody Merch to help him. Huh? I'm laughing my ass off. There it is. Right, Shay. Um, the math, is it mathing on that at all? John checking in. It's funny. Everyone likes five months ago, one in rock versus woman. And now they're all pissed off. Come on, John, speak on it, man. Even though you got that damn Lakers stuff on, it's okay. Shout out to Salah Mansur, but this time I have to agree with him as well. I'm not going to shut him out, although I just fucking read the shit because I got, I got the damn Ron Burgundy shit going on. But no, I ain't going to do that. But yeah, you know, I disagree with him. You know what I mean? I'm with you on that. But I do check out his stuff. And, you know, for the most part, we speak some of the same language, even if it's a Skip Bayless. I didn't have to agree with Skip Bayless, right? But I respect anybody's opinion. But let's be smart. When you're in the game that long, be smart. That's all I'm saying. Be smart. Uh, the deal is something I said that about both matches for Mania. Um, pet your lint. What the fuck does that mean? Does that mean? Okay. Not saying Terry doing black hair. No, I'm definitely not saying Terry Bollea doing this month ever. Okay. Ever, 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 ever. So now, there it is. We want Rock. We want Cody. In the middle, is your tribal chief. There it is right there. I'm, I'm going to make it even bigger for you right now. I'm going to make it even bigger because there in the middle is your tribal chief. Like, the people. Here's the problem. The people always want what they want. Daniel Bryan told you that y'all are some fickle people. Y'all are fickle. Wrestling fans are Fickle. It, it, it drives me nuts. How fickle you guys. I, I, I had a little wardrobe change because we are the ones and the ones that understand professional wrestling. <laughs> okay. So here it is. Were you a Cody Rose fan during the legacy days? I'm sorry, Vaughn. I had to rock this hat because... <laughs> I've been a Cody Rose fan forever. Okay? Forever. Were you Cody when, shout out to the executive consultant, always oh, tied with you, Zia Silent. Three points a piece of me saying your name on the program. Shout out to the point system on the NXT show, Bad Guy Jack. Randy versus Orton. I mean, I'm sorry, Randy versus Orton. Orton versus Cody from the evolution, from the legacy days. Right? Were you a fan of dashing? Were you buying the shirts for dashing? Were you fixing your mustache when he finally grew it? Not in this picture, but was you growing your mustache for, for dashing Cody Rhodes? When he actually put, broke his nose and he wore the mask and he put the bags on fans, were you cheering for Cody? Oh, anyway, you, you waited till he left the company after Stardust, which he still did good because everything Cody Rhodes ever touches, it's always been good. Okay, the American Nightmare, Ring of Honor. He went and started his own federation over in AEW. He's breaking thrones. He didn't win WrestleMania because of this shit right here. It, it's literally in my fucking intro. Okay, last year he didn't win because of this shit. You have to pay the Piper. And I get that the Piper is gone. And he, we know what the been packed and been picked. But you have to pay. And now all of a sudden, oh! Oh, now you a fan. I get it now, right? Because he came out, he fought the establishment. That's what it's all about, people. See, what you don't understand is that sit down, lay down. Go ahead, lay down. It's okay. It's okay. Lay down. Put on some Marvin Gaye, some Johnny Gill, you know, that deep R&B. And just lay back. And let the smooth sounds of Mike Knox educate you on what you don't even know yourself. 
And that's the fact that you just truly deep down inside hate the WWE. <laughs> there's your tweet. Hey, Chris, there's your commercial. You just deep down inside hate the WWE. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Because through all those, Cody Mania is running wild like Kofi Mania did. Here is here is your king. I am a Cody Rhodes mark. I learned yesterday on the debate show, Mom, that I'm not a super mark. There's a difference, right? I'm a super Michael Jordan mark. I don't give a damn what you tell me. LeBron can't be the GOAT because a teammate slept with his mama. <laughs> there it is. I said it, okay? So he can't be the GOAT. But you're going to sit here and tell me that because we want, we want rock, right? We want rock. Okay. Hold on for one second, bro. Because I've been telling y'all for years. Somebody Simone dropped me just once. Acknowledge me. Oh, by the way, that's my cousin Joe. Would later go on Roman Reigns, future WWE champion. I have a cousin Joe too, but he's unemployed. Let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. The world's not ready. The not ready. It can only happen at WrestleMania. <laughs> but y'all tell me that hasn't been that's a storyline that came out of nowhere I've been telling y'all for four years fuck Undertaker and Sting <laughs> right I have said it has been about Roman Reigns and The Rock from the beginning so we all get mad and say because he ruined DCEU and first of all I do not like what happened in the DCEU at all as a Fan of entertainment, and yes, your man's my favorite. I don't want to see anybody. I don't care if you're Apple, Android, PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Apple. I don't care. None of y'all give me money. So I have no dog in the fight. As long as you guys continue to make good products and good things, that's all I go with. For everybody who's one-sided on any of those products, you're an idiot. Because they don't give two shits about you. And they all work together. You can't blame The Rock from going inside the studios and saying, I want this. Blame the executives who told him, okay, Massa, Massa Rock. Yes, sir, Massa Rock. You can have whatever you want, man. You want Black Adam, who ain't never been shit, to be bigger and stronger as Superman? Sure, we love you so much, Rock. We'll give you whatever you want. That ain't Rocky's fault, okay? That's the producer's dumbass fault. You're going to sit here and tell me, y'all, booed, Rocky sucks, Rocky sucks, to the people's elbow. That wasn't good enough for you. Then you got the, the eyebrow wearing, Fasachi shirt wearing, shirt dripping, wishing you was dipping, rock to the old man rock. Fit. Listen, I'm sorry, people. If you don't like him, go ask your girl and not your 21st century millennial girl, okay? And even her. Fuck it. That's how good I'm feeling. My wife, who's a sexy mother, shot my mother with a knife, okay, said on a t-shirt, there go the rock, there go Roman, there go the twins. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but y'all forget that. Y'all forget he gave us WrestleMania against Stone Cold Steve Austin multiple times. Y'all forgot he beat HH's ass. See there, you can't see his face, can you? You still can't see his face. Just the back of his bald ass head. But I'm not going to hate too much. This man was the man that made wrestling what it is today. Point blank and period. But Stone Cold, Hulk Hogan, and Jonathan Horatio Rodriguez, Tom Brady, Cena. You can't see me that everybody went crazy for. And y'all want to sit here. This is why I came at Salah Master. This is why I come at, oh shit, I'm saying it, Dave LaGreca and Busted Open Radio. We know the story. I understand that everything led to it being about Cody Rhodes. But we also know that some things happened in the company that had to be fixed. I don't know if these things are true or they're not true about the video game and having to take out certain people in the game because now WWE 24 is in jeopardy because of this whole, it went from being a civil suit, which means it's his word against her word. 
to a federal case, which means now the government, the FBI is involved, which means there's some really bad sick shit that went on here. This is not a Cassie DD issue that can be handled at a court at this point because it's been seen and speculated as it's some really bad shit that happened. So the company did the best thing the company, in my opinion, could do. Because I don't know. No one, I, don't, I don't have nobody. I mean, I do got some people on speed dial. Okay. But I don't know. No one's talking to me. And if they did, I don't care. Okay. You're going to sit here and tell me that I, I saw in the debate show somebody said, moron, ch ch uh, sticking up for billionaires. The Rock don't need a payday. The company is in a bad light and they want to do anything to shift that light from the bad to the good with the biggest show of their entire year coming up next. And then all of a sudden, you want to sit here and tell me that you can't you can't understand that? That he came down and even if he did. And this is the other rumor that came out today. It's been rumored from like three weeks ago. That is Rock and Roman. I've been telling y'all for four years, if The Rock can do it, it's Rock and Roman. It's about The Rock schedule and what he could do. Finish the story. I said just a week ago, right? Because the wrestling world is topsy-turvy. And one day you can say one thing. You ask me next week who's my top 10 is, it will change as executive consultant Dan Dyshaw 3-3 is mentioning your names on this program. The point system is real. Because we're intelligent wrestling fans. You're going to sit here and tell me that he orchestrated this thing to sabotage the people? No, people. The people screwed the people. You are the people. How did you screw yourself? Because you don't understand the business of professional wrestling. You've never been laid and you don't understand. Listen, I'm, I'm going to back that part off. That's a little harsh. That's wrong. I am insensitive to even say that because that's not fair. That's your guy. You want him to win. Everything. Royal Roman. Why does he point at Roman? Why does he go through this? Why do you have the face down at SmackDown? Why do all these things happen? It's why do they have the video game come out and say these things? A week ago, I said, oh, man, once you do that, you know he's going to beat Roman. All that. Here's what I have to say. Where does any of this change Cody's storyline? Where? Where does it change his storyline? We want Rocky... It's because it's always been Rock versus Rome. When the Rock, the, I'm sorry, when Roman Reigns came out in the Thunderdome, show up, win, repeat, all that shit, he, he said it. He said it. We all knew. What, what do you mean? And then this, this, this dumb report, right? Oh, that's why I put it up here. Because I took, I'm coming up to everybody today. Something I don't never do. I hate when we mention other people's names. Because I don't mention our names. I hate, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I fucking hate it. But we do it because we want to sound credible. And we, those are kind of credible places. So we mention it. So here I go. Right? According to reports, the original reason why the Roman Reigns started to call himself the Tribal Chief is the headline the table. Uh, first off, was to set up something for the future for WrestleMania 38. I'm sorry. No, this has been happening since WrestleMania 37, 36. Not 38, because I've been telling you all that. But I get it. I get it. I'm a peon to the rock, right? I'm on the pebble to AEW's <laughs> Ricky Stark. Hell no. Because when it comes to this entertainment shit and acknowledge acknowledgement, I've been telling you this for years. Yes, Cody deserves to be there. But shit happens, people. I keep saying that word and stuff was used in that damn deposition. But there's your king. He is levels above. He is putting in numbers no one has ever put in this business, including the aforementioned HH, Stone Cold Steve Austin, John Richo Rodriguez, Tom Brady, Cena, and The Rock. It is the biggest match since WrestleMania 28. It's what everyone wanted three months ago. But now you don't want it because the Royal Rumble happened and then people got hurt. Chicago made Punk Phil Brooks gets hurt, right? Uh, Lesnar gets taken out of the match because he's involved in this federal investigation stuff against the WWE. But you're complaining? You don't understand why this had to shift this way? And it's about dead even. It's about dead even. Jeffrey, it's so hard to believe wrestling fans to see that 
all, all this hate. That's that, that's the problem, right? Why is there so much hate? I, I didn't have the video. I wanted to share it, right? Um, I do have it here. Let me see if I can bring it up, right? Because shout out to damn, he just took the lead. Is that a consultant? Dice man put into our chat the tweet that Rock's daughter. She's getting death threats for heaven's sakes. Why is this little girl? who's in her own world have nothing to do with her father getting death threats. Come on. Everybody doesn't deserve this. What is wrong with y'all? I get the 90s. We were a certain breed of children and we, and we have bred the world to be fucking on fire. Right? The kids of today or what we wish we could have ever been. There it is. I said it. But whenever you guys get mad, y'all you do. You know what I'm going to do about it? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to tweet my displeasure. That's right. I'm going to jump on social media and I'm going to tweet about it until my fingers bleed. I might even send an Instagram or a Vine. That's right. And on that tweet, in that tweet, and however many characters I get, I am going to threaten. That's right. If I don't get what I want, I'm going to riot. And, and if that doesn't work, then by God, me and my friend Mark, we're going to stop watching. <laughs> oh, my God. There it is. Let's let's start on March because as wrestling as a as a as a character as stories, did you guys go march on Marvel when Spider Man pulled off his Elvis mask and told him he was Peter Parker? When they killed Superman, did you go up there and complain that oh why would you kill Superman? He's the greatest superhero of all time. Come on, people, come on, people are fickle, Roosevelt. People are fickle. Won't be surprised if Ava dis um, uh, dis disconnects her Twitter account again. She's done it before. There's no reason for that. It's an entertainment thing, in my opinion. We want it when we want it. I, I get that. 100%. It's a microwave society. Hell, every single time I wake up in the morning, I want a T-bone egg, cheese, eggs, and wokes is great. I don't get it. I mean, I'm gonna, my day is ruined. Oh my God, I'm going to be so mad. I'm sorry, kids of the day. I get it. You have the right. Y'all have changed wrestling with WrestleMania 30 10 years ago with Daniel Bryan. I was part of the Yes movement. Oh my God. Yes, I was. But I love the fact. I love the fact. And it's sad that Cody Rhodes and his father, Dusty Rhodes, have been seen as, not to me, but to most, they're invited to the cookout. But now you, it's it's like all them versus all rock. And it's unfair. It's dumb. It's all wrestling. What is, I don't care if you're black, white. It's a story. It's a story. They can be completed at SummerSlam, at Survivor Series, at anything. I, I, I understand dominoes happen and things start to fall. And it just, and it, it just, it just all hit the fan. And, 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 and it's just, it's, it's sad. It's really, really sad. Um, how y'all think right now? How y'all taking Eric Douglas? So then what do you do with Cody? It's, I think it's obvious, at least right now. The obvious thing is, oh, he's going against Seth Rollins, right? That's where we're all going to go, right? That's intelligent wrestling fans will lead us there. It's, it's Cody and Seth. And then fans, but here's the thing also. Fans will go, Cody, Seth is hurt. Why does Cody got to go against Seth? He beat him three times. What is he going against him a fourth time going to mean? It means absolutely. He beat him with a torn pack and a hell of a cell. How are you going to lose now? We don't know. Right? Rock and Roman. Doesn't have to be for the title. You're right. It doesn't. It's not about the title. It's about the tribal chief. So can, can Roman work double duty? Will he work? I think he should. I think he can. I don't want to see a triple threat match. At, at any any way at all, I don't want to see a triple threat match whatsoever. I have zero interest in a triple threat match. Give me night one, give me night two, Roman, either way you want to put it together. But if you did give me a triple threat match, I'm not going to complain on the internet about it. I'm going to go there, spend my money, and enjoy the show. Because I can't change it no matter how it goes. I hated how they treated the Hulk in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I hated it. 
the Hulk got it. I'm not even a Hulk guy, but if I'm a Hulk fan, how they treated the Hulk Vaughn, I'd be pretty pissed off. No one stopped watching the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Things change. Business things happen. You have the internet. You have everything at your disposal to figure out what happens, why it's happening, and what it's doing. Okay, that's a powerful fan made poster. Well, you know what? I made that and, I, and I'm a fan. So I appreciate that. You're welcome. You want that? Just ask me for the inbox. I will inbox it to you. There is big things that go on over here on Unpopular View.